There has never not been a time when free stuff was an enticing. Getting something for nothing is a well-known saying because the sentiment has existed for so long. Businesses of all sizes are aware of this and can leverage this knowledge to entice potential customers to show interest. But getting them to consciously buy it after nibbling? Well, that's where true enterprising skill comes in. Listen on to delve deeper into the art of the free trial. Free Trials 101 It's likely that we've all fallen prey to the 14-day free trial you give your payment credentials up front, swear you'll cancel on day 13, and then, six months later, you're still getting billed monthly. While this may work for online services and gym memberships, is it actually a free trial? And is it even ethical? Technically, this marketing ploy is not a free trial because the customer is presented with a clear way to opt out at any time, and they are made aware that, if they don't, they will be charged in the future for the services they are receiving. Thus there is inferred future transaction which nullifies the free aspect of the free trial. However, this kind of free trial is also totally legit and, if you play by the rules, not immoral. In the case that the customer is not made aware that they will be charged or if there is not a clear way to opt out of the free trial, this isn't actually a free trial either, it's an unethical scam that consumers and card companies are growing wise to. In fact, last year, MasterCard announced a new policy that, in the case of free trials for physical products such as healthcare and skincare items, requires merchants to wait until the free trial has completed before prompting customers to authorize the charge. All of that being said, the purest form of a free trial requires as little upfront information as possible, minimizes consumer risk, mitigates commitment, spurs curiosity, and eventually satisfies the customer to the point of purchase. Upfront Information For online businesses that are offering a free trial of their service, it's nearly impossible to do so without procuring the potential customer's payment information. Even reputable companies like Linda, HBO, and Amazon ask for it upfront. However, some companies go against the trend and wait until the trail has lapsed before they prompt customers to commit. Adobe, for example, offers a free trial of their Creative Cloud suite for seven days without upfront payment information. While it may not technically be classified as a free trial, asking for payment information upfront is still the most common technique in the industry. The key to this method is transparency and a willingness to work with customers if they forget to cancel. Otherwise, Potential customers will be very upset and your reputation as a trustworthy company may be tarnished.